Some days I feel like a million bucks. You could call me Bay Mollenkamp. Beautiful, strong, confident, and unwilling to accept BS from anyone. Who rules the world? Me. Other days, I'm more Eeyore than Beyonce. I feel utterly useless and defeated. Who runs the world? Anyone but me, that's for sure. Luckily, my Beyonce days far outweigh my Eeyore days. Despite all the introspection and deep work I've done in recent years, though, my inner Eeyore has not died. In the past, I would beat myself up on those donkey days. My inner dialogue would go something like, you've spent the last week on a Beyonce high, what a joke. This is the real you, a total loser, a loser who can't even snap yourself out of this. You'll always be a loser, so stop trying to fight it. Those days, thankfully, are long gone. Today, that conversation goes something like, oh boy, Eeyore's back. Today may suck, but that's okay. Even Beyonce has bad days. These feelings never last. You'll be okay. Until then, remember I love you. Bad days, or weeks, months, years, happen. It's nonsense to pretend that we can be all happy all the time. If that's your goal, you're setting yourself up for a lifetime of disappointment and self-loathing. What really matters is how we handle the bad times. You can kick your inner Eeyore while she's down or love her through it. I want to encourage you to think about how do you talk to yourself on bad days? The next time you wake up feeling more like a donkey than a diva, here's a little permission and encouragement to give yourself some grace. Talk to yourself like you would talk to a friend. You don't have to be your own worst enemy. This may sound simple, but it's not easy. It took me years to get here, and sometimes I still fail. But every time you change your inner dialogue, even a little bit, you begin to rewire your brain. Slowly and surely, your unconscious knee-jerk thoughts and feelings will begin to change. And that is powerful. Learning to love ourselves through hard times or even just extend some compassion to ourselves if we're not yet capable of loving ourselves is the key to self-growth. It's the difference between those people who let hard times beat them up and keep them out of the race from those who finish the race, even if they do so struggling and on their knees. 